How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some super freaky video clips that no one can quite explain. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. In a bizarre and unsettling incident captured on store security cameras in Santiago, Chile, a Haitian man experienced a mysterious and seemingly inexplicable event. The video, which surfaced on Instagram in mid-January 2024, has left viewers questioning the nature of this peculiar occurrence. Take a look. The man appears to be tripped over by an unseen force. The impact is both unexpected and gravity defying, leaving onlookers stunned and baffled. Rumors surrounding the incident suggest that the man had fled Haiti due to mounting debt and some speculate that he may have fallen victim to a Santeria curse as a consequence of his actions. Santeria, an African diasporic religion originating in Cuba, combines elements of spiritualism, Catholicism, and the traditional Yoruba religion from West Africa. As the mysterious video continues to circulate, questions abound regarding the true nature of this strange incident. While some may seek rational explanations, others entertain the notion that supernatural forces, such as a curse, may have played a role in this strange fall. The bizarre occurrence remains a topic of fascination and intrigue. A recent video shared on Instagram by the user Unanswered Universe has ignited a wave of speculation about the moon. The video, captured from a distance, slowly zooms in on the lunar surface, revealing an intriguing sight. A series of lights illuminating an area on the moon's terrain. The presence of these lights has left viewers puzzled. From the perspective offered by the video, it almost appears as though a vast cityscape adorns the lunar landscape. However, the sheer scale and implications of such a discovery raise numerous questions and theories. As of now, there's no definitive explanation for the presence of these lights on the moon, and the video remains a source of speculation. A chilling photograph captured in St. Augustine, Florida has sent shivers down the spines of those who've seen it. Shared by a woman named Hannah Wood on her Facebook account in early January 2024, the eerie image was taken in a cemetery during a late night walk with her friend. According to Hannah's account, the strange incident unfolded when an inexplicable fog or smoke-like phenomenon engulfed a specific area of the cemetery. Intrigued and possibly unnerved by this unusual occurrence, Hannah decided to take a photo. However, what she discovered in the photo left her in shock. While the rest of the surroundings appear normal, the captured image displays an eerie, ghostly figure of a woman. Hannah claims that as soon as she noticed the spectral presence in the photo, she hastily fled from the area. The photo has since gained attention and sparked discussions about its authenticity. Many viewers find the image compelling and genuinely unsettling, while others ponder whether there might be a rational explanation for the ghostly figure's sudden appearance. As the photograph continues to intrigue and haunt those who view it, questions about the paranormal and the unexplained persist, reminding us that the world is full of mysteries that defy easy explanation.
A chilling encounter during a seemingly ordinary hike has left a Reddit user known as Phoenix Fire and their partner bewildered. The spine-tingling incident occurred on the Goldenrod Trail Loop in the University of North Florida in Florida. Phoenix Fire shared their eerie experience on our Slaptam subreddit, inviting fellow Reddit users to weigh in on the mysterious event. According to their account, the OP and their partner embarked on a leisurely hike along the trail armed with a new Polaroid camera to capture the scenic area. As they ventured deeper into the hike, they reached a section of the trail adorned with a freshly installed dead end post. This portion of the trail apparently led to a recently opened highway. Struck by the juxtaposition of the dying foliage against the foreboding sign, the couple deemed it a perfect opportunity for a strange photo. They promptly took the picture, with Phoenix Fire's partner handing over the photo, which was held under their coat to develop while they continued their walk. However, the true mystery emerged later when they returned to their car. Upon examining the developed photo, the couple noticed something utterly perplexing. A peculiar shadow to the right of the dead end sign. The shadowy figure was not present when the picture was taken, according to Phoenix Fire. So what do you think this strange shadowy presence could be? Let me know what you think this is in the comments down below. An unsettling photograph shrouded in mystery has resurfaced on the internet, raising chilling questions about the paranormal. Uploaded by an anonymous user, the photograph offers a glimpse into an eerie corner of their old house an attic space that had remained untouched for some years. The uploader's caption details the eerie encounter that unfolded when they decided to investigate the concealed attic. The attic, inaccessible due to its height and darkness, prompted the user to use their camera's flash to illuminate the hidden depths. They described their house as old, with a portion of the attic so remote that it was beyond their reach. As they leaned into the attic and snapped the photo, their intention was to capture any interesting objects or artifacts that might have been concealed there for some years. However, what emerged from the photograph left them with an inexplicable sense of unease. Upon viewing the picture, a human-like figure becomes startlingly apparent. The figure, according to the uploader's description, appears as a female apparition with distinct features, including a face, hand, and possibly a flowing dress. The uploader, grappling with the eerie image and its implications, shared their father's interpretation of the figure's posture. According to their father, the entity seemed to be perched on her hip on the roof beam, startled by the sudden photograph. The picture and its unsettling backstory have left many viewers with an uncanny sense of dread. While the post itself may be years old, the chilling visage it presents remains unsolved, leaving us with lingering questions. A spine-chilling photograph has resurfaced on the internet, leaving viewers in a state of unease and bewilderment. Shared by the Facebook page Ghosts of London, this eerie image has been spooking viewers once again. The photograph's backstory adds an extra layer of eeriness and traces back to a rural area between Big Rapids and Chippewa Lake in Michigan, where a manufacturing plant employed the uploader's father as a night watchman. The family's house, a job-related perk, stood across the street from the factory adjacent to a vast wilderness known as the Haymarsh, now the Haymarsh State Game Area. Intriguingly, the uploader recalls their father's unusual apprehension about allowing them to play outdoors after dark. Their father, while patrolling the factory's perimeter, had spoken of hearing strange sounds like coyotes or bears lurking in the Haymarsh wilderness during his night shift. One summer night in 1961, at approximately 3am, the eerie encounter unfolded. The father had returned home to relax on the porch, armed with a cup of coffee and a sweet roll. From this vantage point, he could survey the entire plant property, but what he witnessed next left him profoundly unsettled. Near a chain-link fence behind the factory building, he spotted movement that defied explanation. Initially, he assumed it was a person, but the late hours suggested otherwise. 
Drawing his gun, he observed a towering figure covered in brownish gray hair with broad shoulders and a powerful chest. This strange being alternated between walking on four legs and standing upright on two, as if in search of something along the driveway. As the minutes passed, the father's disbelief gave way to curiosity. He quietly entered the house, retrieving a Kodak Signet 35mm camera. This camera had been a cherished possession passed down from his father, who owned one of Ohio's earliest camera stores. Returning to the porch, he aimed the camera under the porch lights, capturing an image he would never forget. The photograph, shrouded in darkness, preserved an indelible image, the towering, hair-covered entity prowling under the lights. Moments after the photograph was taken, the mysterious figure dropped on all fours and retreated into the woods. Struck by the profound strangeness of what he had witnessed, the father sent a print of the photograph to the local newspaper and several magazines. Mysterion, one of these publications, featured the photograph in its spring 1962 issue. Decades later, this eerie photograph continues to perplex and disturb. Commenters on social media have offered various theories, speculating that it could depict the legendary dogman, an oversized bear, or even a playful jest, a Bigfoot with a penchant for coffee. So what do you think the OP's father caught on film all those years ago? Leave your thoughts and theories in the comment section down below. Before we take a look at some mysterious sightings captured in Gulf Breeze, Florida, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. In the late 1980s, the quiet coastal town of Gulf Breeze, Florida found itself thrust into the national spotlight due to a series of unexplained and eerie occurrences. Residents began reporting strange lights and UFO sightings in the skies above their homes, prompting widespread intrigue and a frenzy of media attention. The Gulf Breeze UFO phenomenon quickly became a subject of fascination and speculation, leaving many to wonder about the nature of these mysterious lights. It all began when residents of Gulf Breeze started noticing unusual activity in the skies. Reports of UFO sightings began to pour in, with witnesses describing strange lights that moved erratically through the air. These sightings were not isolated incidents, they occurred with such frequency that they could no longer be ignored. Something unusual was happening in Gulf Breeze and the community was eager to find answers. The intensity of the UFO sightings prompted the news program A Current Affair to send a news crew to Gulf Breeze. Their mission was to document the strange phenomena and gather interviews with residents who had experienced these encounters firsthand. Gulf Breeze has become a center for UFO activity. The residents are determined to find out why. In the last 12 months, they've documented 122 unexplained sightings, an average of one every three days. Little did they know that their journey to uncover the truth would lead to even more astonishing revelations. As the news crew conducted interviews with local residents, they too experienced something that defied explanation. While in town to cover the UFO sightings, the crew was taken aback when they spotted several strange lights hovering in the night sky. On the sands overlooking the Gulf of Mexico, our crew videotaped these incredible pictures. White, white, look, there, look. This unexpected encounter added an extra layer of intrigue to the story and left them with more questions than answers. Over the course of just 12 months, a staggering 122 documented UFO sightings occurred in Gulf Breeze. These sightings ranged from peculiar lights in the sky to close encounters with unidentified flying objects. Witnesses reported these sightings with conviction and the phenomenon continued to captivate the town's residents and the wider public. The Gulf Breeze UFO phenomenon left many baffled and curious about the nature of these mysterious lights. What were these unidentified flying objects and why had they chosen Gulf Breeze as their focal point? 
Some speculated about extraterrestrial involvement, while others sought scientific explanations. The Gulf Breeze UFO phenomenon of the late 1980s remains an enduring mystery. It was a time when a quiet coastal town was thrust into the spotlight due to an inexplicable wave of UFO sightings. While investigations were conducted, answers remained elusive, leaving Gulf Breeze residents and curious onlookers to ponder the mysterious lights that once graced their skies. If you want a more in-depth look at the mysterious UFO sightings of Gulf Breeze in the 1980s, we took a deep dive on our second channel, Slapped Ham Mysteries. Here's a little snippet. The humid air was alive with the smell of the sea as evening fell on Gulf Breeze, Florida. It was November 11th, 1987, an otherwise typical night in this sleepy beach town. But for Ed Walters, a successful building contractor, it was the start of a strange journey that would captivate UFO enthusiasts worldwide. It's a story teetering on the razor's edge of belief and skepticism. A tale that's garnered a cult following for its uncanny blend of the ordinary and the otherworldly. This is the story of the Gulf Breeze UFO incident. If you want to see the full episode, then head over to our brand new second channel. There's links in the description box down below. It's also pinned in the comments and we'll see you over there. To this day, the Gulf Breeze UFO incident stands as one of the most enduring UFO mysteries. Now, if you want to see some more creepy content, then watch that video on the top there. Otherwise, there's a spooky playlist that will keep you entertained for hours and hours. Remember to follow us on all our other socials as well. All the links are in the description box down below there. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. <gasps>